This morning, we're learning more about the tour, uh, tour guide who was killed in a malfunction at a Colorado gold mine as authorities search for answers about what caused the tragedy that also left a dozen tourist traps a thousand feet underground for hours. ABC's Zareen Shah joins us with the latest. Zareen, good morning. Good morning. We spoke to one couple who was trapped. They had never gone mining before, and they thought it would be a one-hour trip. Well, turned into over eight hours, and their journey is now tied to a death investigation. This morning, tourists in Colorado detailing the harrowing moment they learned about the death at a gold mine that trapped their group a thousand feet below the Earth's surface for hours. They got really quiet, um, and there were some tears. Brett and Rhonda Pulse went for a tour of a mine at Cripple Creek right before the group that was brought down by 46-year-old Patrick Weir, a tour guide and well-known father of one. Eleven other people in Weir's group were rescued, several of them with minor injuries. Patrick's group was a few hundred feet above Brett and Rhonda's when something went terribly wrong, leaving Patrick dead. Anytime you're dealing with heavy machinery in a mine, there, there could be accidents. And this was a tragic accident. Brett and Rhonda were stuck with a group of 10 others for many hours. They had no idea someone had just died, but since something was wrong. We get back to um, the lift and there's a rock and some timber that kind of falls. And we're like, mm, that's not good. They discovered there was an issue with the elevator, but they felt OK because their tour guide was trained in rescue and repairing mines. We kept us safe mm -hmm. and moved us back to a more secluded area that uh, was heavily timbered and uh, shored up so nothing would happen to us. After over eight hours underground, they packed into the now repaired elevator, soon learning about the tragic death. My heart just aches for his family. And the couple says all they know at this point is there was some kind of malfunction as the elevator was going down. The mine had passed recent safety inspections, according to officials, and has not had a type of incident like this in four decades. Gia. Just unbelievably scary. All right, Zareen, thank you so much.